You're listening to the Mutual Audio Network. Unless you're tasting it. In which case, I think you're doing it wrong. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. This is the 7th Annual Comedy Forecast April Podcast Today Spectacular. Brought to you by the Comedy Forecast patrons on Patreon.com. Consider joining everyone who supports the show, including this 30-chapter spectacular, for as little as a dollar a month. Go to Patreon.com and search for Comedy Forecast. All one word with the number four. Thank you. This year's original 30-chapter story is called The Slow Down. To hear it from the beginning, just go to ComedyForecast.com slash 2021. Now, here's Chapter 24, That Run-Down Feeling. In our last episode, Giles, the former front desk clerk at the Venus Arms Hotel and Towers, had somehow disappeared from the custom-built assault vehicle codenamed Cruller, but more often referred to as Princess. I'm warning you for the last time, it's just the Cruller! In an attempt to contain the problem while he sorted things out, General Calamity ordered Miss Fallmacher to lock Red, the urban explorer YouTuber, in the onboard bathroom. For some reason, the latch is on the outside of the facilities. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Let me out of here. You people are crazy. General, we can't keep Red in there forever. And we have to figure out how to find Giles. Negative. The mission objective is to rescue Mindy. Cindy. Roger. And to secure these tunnels. You civilians entered at your own risk. I will not turn back. Besides, the crawler won't go in reverse. I don't care. We have to do something. Giles is out there and... Oh. Suddenly, Princess stops moving and her engine shuts off, as do most of the other internal systems. All that remains working are the lights at the front of the cabin and the windshield night vision display. Hey, what's going on? Who turned out the lights? Quiet back there. We're working on it. I think the batteries are running low. Princess is conserving power. Crawler! Also, what? We only started using the batteries 22 hours ago. Is that all the nonstop driving we get out of those things? Moving an entire school bus. Plus, the power it takes to run your precious night vision windows and power all the other cabin functions. Well, what good is it for the crawler to conserve power now? We need to keep going. Maybe not. I think Princess is telling us she's taken us as far as she can go. Look out there! Just a few hundred feet from the bus stands a walled end to the tunnel. A pair of ornately carved doors are positioned at dead center. That's interesting. Meanwhile, above ground in grass side green, in the office of Mayor Garfield Lucky Dubois Jr., the mayor is nervously pacing the floor. Where are they? Why haven't I heard from them yet? They should have caught up with Calamity by now. What if they failed? What if someone finds out what I've been doing? No, 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 get your mind off of Dubois. Nothing is going to go wrong. Dick Bando is here to say that something has gone wrong. Back in the tunnels, Miss Falmacher and General Calamity exit Princess and use flashlights to make their way to the doors. I think we found the source of this strange sound. Is this place some kind of pirate radio station? Pirates, huh? They must be pissed there's no water down here. It's locked. I can't say I'm surprised. This doesn't exactly scream welcome. No problem. I finally get to use the lasers. And how 
are you going to do that if Princess is almost out of power? Ah, I waited all this time to use them, and now I can't? It's not fair, I tell you. I know, it's sad. You're mocking me again, Fallmucker. Or should I say, Fallmucker? Wait, we can pick this lock. Fallmucker, give me a bobby pin. What makes you think I have a bobby pin? Oh, I see. It's because I'm a woman. Does that mean you don't have a bobby pin? It means I have a Little Wicker Basket General Purpose Hair Care Accessories Kit in my handbag. Comb, detangling comb, paddle brush, hair ties. Ah, here it is, lock pick. What? Sometimes a girl forgets her key. Do you know how to use that thing? No, but I'm willing to give it a try. Miss Falmacher notices a small round button off to the right of the doors. What's this? Leave it alone. It might be a trap. We're stuck. Miles underground with a bus that has no power. How much more of a trap can this be? Miss Fallmacher reaches over and cautiously touches the button. All right, back to the lockpick. Suddenly, with a sorrowful moan, the massive doors begin to swing open. What's on the other side of those doors? And what other goodies are in Miss Fallmacher's handbag? For answers... Be sure to listen to Chapter 25, Return Policy. Special thanks to David Wapple and everyone in the Virtual Writers Cafe, and also everyone in the forums at schoolie.net. In this episode, the part of Abby Fallmacher was played by Bonnie Kenderdine. And the narrator was played by Gary J. Chambers. Gary J. Chambers, VO.com. Additional voices, as well as story and music, by Clinton Alvord. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved. This is an urgent message from Cypher on undergoing various uh, undergoings for the evil plan. It has come to my attention that these children, these voices, have risen in a mutiny against us. This, of course, is suboptimal. They must be stopped at all costs. I think I speak for all mankind when I say the evil plan must continue. (laughs) Yes, it must. (laughs) Anyway, we have set up a trap for these kid agents and they will be dealt with soon enough. Don't believe me. Just listen. I'm just gonna cut one of them! No, wait! Okay, why haven't they reported in for the past two days? Two of your agents have been injured in the line of duty. Oh my god, Josh, are you okay? Uh, Miss, uh, Miss, can you please step back? Say something comforting to Josh. Better you than me? Many believe the Wordtastic Podcast to be the greatest podcast of all time. And season two bears no exception. We'll have more action. More laughs. (laughs) What is wrong with you? More drama. We did it! We're alive! 
for now, kid agents. <laughs>